Hello witchy family. I kind of wanted to just get on YouTube and do a mindless brainless video because I've been doing a lot of educational content which is super rewarding and fun for me but also sometimes I just want to do a video that's just like show and tell. Let me show you all the things that I've been collecting over the past month or two and kind of how I personally use it in my practice. Um, some of these supplies are thrifted, some of them aren't. I will try to leave links below where I can, but I've got everywhere from like vintage items, altar tools, um, crystals, jars, there's a lot of things here. So I'm just going to kind of go rapid fire through all these items, but I'm really excited to do a video like this. It's been a couple months since I did like a witchy haul or a thrifty video or something like that. So, um, so yeah, let's dive in. Okay, should I start by showing you the biggest item I thrifted? Or should I, no. I'm gonna start with showing you these, um, so I got these candle holders. And they look kinda like bones. I got two of them. Oh, I still have the tag on this one. But I thrifted these and I really love them because it literally looks like antlers. I'm really into like a bone uh, phase right now so anytime I can find something that looks like bones or antlers or anything like that I definitely love that I'm gonna have these on my ancestral altar and um, put some black candles in it to honor the dead or um, you know and I don't personally work with deities too much but any other magical entity I feel like that these would be great for and then I always end up picking up a bowl anytime I go anywhere because I just love bowls. You can do so many things with bowls. So I found this pretty Buddha bowl. I just fell in love with it and had to have it. I was a Buddhist for five years, um, kind of right before my science phase. Um, I like stepped away from witchcraft for a little while, went through a science phase, and then became a Buddhist for about five years, got crazy into meditation. So um, I really, really love this bowl. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it for yet. I feel like this bowl would be really great for some sort of prosperity working, especially because it's gold, and gold for me is wealth, finances, abundance, prosperity. So I already have of a money bowl um, but I might do some other type of prosperity working I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this yet but definitely worth um, getting because it's so gorgeous and then I also found these little things are so cute like I said we're gonna go through these really really quickly because I have a lot of things um, so I found this all these tiny little wood cups and so I'm actually gonna use them as offering cups so they are they're tiny. Look how cute and itty bitty these are. But they're just the perfect size for, so I have an altar where I have all my ancestors, my magical entities, um, basically all the spiritual beings that I personally work with on one altar. They have their own little sections, but um, I'm going to put these little cups next to, I usually have like a trinket or a totem or a statue that represents each spiritual entity and then I have a little offering cup that sits next to them that way I can put my offering in there of like a little flower or some tea or a little sip of um, coffee or whatever I do for offerings but I just thought it was perfect because it's a matching set and they're tiny so if you need like you know a smaller um, cup size because you have a tiny little altar like I do these types of cups are great so this is something also that I found at the thrift store and I think these are meant to be shot glasses no they can't be shot glasses because they're too small for that I don't know what these were originally meant to be but whatever I like it and it came in like a cute little case so I'm keeping it and then I always check for books at the thrift store. I did find this book. Um, it's always hard to find witchy books at a thrift store because I feel like it's so, as far as like religion and spirituality goes, most of it is Abrahamic religions. I would say most of it's Christianity. It's really hard to find a witchy book at a thrift store, at least where I live. But I did happen to find this one, which I'm really excited about. It's called Low Magic by Lon Milo Duquette. And I love this author. Lon Milo Duquette is really witty and he has a fun way of writing. I do own some of his other books. So I'm really excited to read this one because Low Magic pertains more to, you know, witchcraft and magic in the, the material realm. So um, yeah, I'll have to do a little review on this and let you know what I think about it. Okay, let's move on to the big item. So this is a 1975 vintage um, jewelry box and it's a well it's a music box technically because let me see 
and it's like in perfect condition gorgeous and actually see if I can show this on camera there's like more space in it so yeah, this is a Victorian style 1975 music box. And when I saw this, I was like, ooh, this would be something excellent for my crystals because I have so many little crystals that I need to really kind of organize by color at this point because there's so many of them. So all the little compartments in here, I think would be perfect for that. Um, and I love like the little, I don't know if you can see this, but the little feet, let's see if I can get it to zoom in the little feet on the bottom of the music box. It's just gorgeous. And so, yeah, when I saw this, I was like, ooh, that'd be perfect for my crystals. And then my immediate thought was, is this jewelry box haunted? Does it have, <laughs> does it have some sort of negative energy to it? So I did a read on it um, and there's nothing in here. It feels great. It feels like I don't feel any negative entities attached to it. But you know that connotation whenever you watch scary movies or something and there's always like that creepy doll or that creepy music box or something. Um, don't let that ruin your experience for all music boxes in the future. It's This is not creepy, it's lovely. <laughs> so for anybody that's like, uh, don't bring that into your home, that's haunted. Don't worry, I already assessed. We are safe, we are good. Um, and then I did pick up some candles. So I always pick up candles from the thrift store because they're like, how much? $1.99, super cheap. Um, so pink ones, obviously I have a self-love altar. So I'll be putting the pink candles on my self-love altar when I need to refresh, renew that. And then um, a green candle for my money bowl because I need another green candle. So this one's gonna work out really great. And then I also got a pack of black candles so everything so far that I've showed you actually has been thrifted um, this is the first item that has not been thrifted I did go to my local metaphysical store to pick up some of these little black candles because black candles are so hard to find um, but I really love these tiny little candles because they just they fit in everything they're quick for like one or two spells just itty bitty um, so I'll definitely be doing some workings with those and then this time around, I only got one jar. I just got this jar that I'll probably put dandelions in um, that I've harvested. I've done a lot with dandelions this season so far, so I definitely need another jar to stuff them in because I have harvested quite a bit. Um, dandelions are great for like increasing your power, your will, your vitality, really good for like solar plexus work. Um, so I'll definitely be putting that stuff in here. Or I might use this for rose petals as well because I do use rose petals pretty heavily in my practice um, just because I have a personal relationship Relationship with roses um, so yeah I got this cute little jar and then we have all the crystals actually before we dive into crystals I forgot I have a little bit more in the jar section um, this was gifted to me my cousin <laughs> she got me all of these this is an entire box filled with little jars which is fantastic um, I don't really do um, spell jars so much anymore but I use these for harvesting and it's fantastic for that because even if you don't do spell jars in your magical practice these are just nice if you can have like one or two on hand when you're out in the world and that way you can collect a jar of dirt you can collect a jar of sand or put some seashells in there or um, whatever you want pine needles or um, like little pine cones or even some like rusty tacks you can use those in baneful workings if you're if you live in the city you can pick up some little rusty nails and tacks and put them in jars so I just really love these for harvesting and there's so much free stuff that you can use in your magical practice you don't have to purchase things all and I've said this a lot in my video or in my previous videos because I feel like there's such an emphasis right now on materialism and having all these material items in your practice and although I love material items clearly I'm making a witchy haul video of all the things I've gotten it's not necessary to have a successful magical practice so um, get yourself some little jars go out into the world and harvest some free stuff um, I love that and plus it just makes it more personal as well. When you are gathering dirt from a place that has really significant meaning to you and then you are using that dirt in a spell, it's going to be so much more powerful because it's personally bonded to you. You are invoking the feelings that you had when you were in that specific place at that specific time. So I really love just kind of gathering bits of nature wherever I go um, and putting them in these jars. You know, get creative, whatever. 
Okay, so crystals. Let's move on to crystals. I bought a huge piece of Labradorite. Um, this is from my uh, one of my partners. They love Labradorite. I actually don't. <laughs> I don't like Lab at all. And I know that's crazy to say because pretty much every witch ever loves Labradorite. They're always like, oh my gosh, Lab is my favorite stone ever. And I'm pretty sure I'm the only witch in the entire world that doesn't like Labradorite. I don't know why. It just is repulsive to me. Like, I mean, it's, I can acknowledge that it's a beautiful stone, but it does nothing for me. I don't feel any good energy from it. I just feel dead energy. Like, so you have to really <laughs> pick the crystals that are going to resonate with you personally. That's for sure. But anyways, um, I mean, visually it's stunning. I wish I could get the flash a little bit more on camera, but, um, and it's huge. I mean, it's like half the size of my head. So this is a big piece. Um, oh, there, there we go. You can kind of see the flash a little bit in it. Oh, I wish I could get it to flash more. But anyways, um, got this big piece of Labradorite, great for um, third eye work and any sort of spiritual psychic development or even lucid dreaming. Um, my partner's gonna set this on their nightstand and help with lucid dreamings and astral projections. So Labradorite is great for that. And those are all things I'm interested in. So I don't understand why I don't resonate with Labradorite, like I should, right? In theory, on paper. Anyways, uh, moving on to the next one. So my friend does wire wrapping, and I don't know if you can see, she just recently made this for me, and it's gorgeous. I hope you can see it okay in the camera, but her name is Jessica and I'm totally gonna link her information down below if you're interested in a wire wrapping. This is Lapis, Lapis Lazuli. I don't really know how to pronounce that crystal properly, but this crystal is great for communicating with ancestors. So that's what I'm going to be using it for primarily. I mean, there are a lot of different uses for Lapis, but um, that's kind of how I will be using it. But yeah, her wire wrapping skills are just ridiculously good. So um, she's made a couple pieces for me me, but this is my newest one and I love it. I mean, it's, it's a good size too. It's really pretty. Um, so anyways, I'll link her stuff down below. And then I also met a subscriber. Her name is Amy. She's awesome. And she has a little crystal shop, which I will also link below because I picked up um, a couple crystals from her shop and now we're friends. So we met through YouTube. Now we're friends. So that's cool. Um, but I got this little selenite snake. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. I hate having to put my hand, I feel like a beauty blogger. You know the, the beauty bloggers that are like, always like this, that's kind of how I feel right now, but really you can't see it otherwise. So anyways, I got this selenite snake, which I thought was pretty rad, and then a selenite moon, and then she threw in some extra goodies in there as well. Oh, I did get a pendulum from her too. I did not bring the pendulum with me, but you get the point, her shop is awesome. I will link her down below. Okay, so before I show you the last item, I'm really, really excited to talk about it. Um, I was gonna say, I really have been kind of wanting to do a witchy haul, like small business edition. So I was thinking about reaching out to all the subscribers on this channel to see if anybody has a small business. That way we can just kind of promote all the small businesses out there and that's really kind of my thing like I'd rather people not order from Amazon or other large companies like that and just order from um, independent sellers so anyways if you comment down below if you think that's a good idea or not I'd really like to do a small business haul and just kind of link everyone else's businesses and check it out see what stuff everybody has um, yeah I think that would be a really cool idea so let me know what you think but um, so this is my last item this is a selenite athame I did not throw this item. I specifically went to the metaphysical store and purchased it because I wanted one and I did not mean to get one this big. I wanted to get one much smaller but they were out of stock of literally all the other sizes so I got an extra large because like go big or go home. So anyways this is my selenite athame. Um, I've already used it once in a cord cutting ceremony and it just without giving too much personal details away, it was extremely powerful. So um, I am I'm very, very impressed. I was wondering how it would work. I've never worked with a selenite athame before. Um, it was good. I will never go back to any other type of athame. For me personally, this just really was super effective. So anyways, I'm in love with this. This is my new favorite tool right now <laughs> is the athame, but you can use it um, 
you can use athames in so many different ways and I, maybe that's another video that we can have another day uh, but yeah I think that's it that's all the items that I thrifted so anyways thank you for letting me do a super fun witchy haul video I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in a video very soon bye